Earlier today, we got a tomato clownfish. My mum acclimated him for 50 minutes because I was busy draining our other fish tank of water so we can turn it into a freshwater one. Thanks, mum. Anyway, we released him and he was very happy swimming around for a bit. And then I decided to make a really cool montage and say loads of awesome facts about them. In the end, we decided to call him Vision because he is red, like the Vision from Marvel. But just as I was about to shoot this really cool montage, our first leopard ras, called Thorin, went to sleep in the sand just here. Anyway, here's the montage. The tomato, or fire clownfish, is a species of clownfish found in the family Pomocentridae, which includes clownfish and damselfish in the order Plectroforms, which includes perch-like fishes. It is native to the waters of the Western Pacific, ranging from Southeast Indonesia and reefs such as Raja Ampat, all the way extending to the north of Japan. In the wild, they can be found with a mutualistic symbiotic relationship with many sea anemones in the class Anthozoa. The mutualistic symbiotic relationship works by the anemone which hosts the clownfish gives it a safe place to live as the stinging tentacles of the anemone have little cells called nematocysts in them which deliver poison to anything that touches them but only organic matter but these clownfish have a type of mucus which covers their body so they are not harmed in return the clownfish will clean any dead bits of skin or other particles off the anemone their habitat includes shallow lagoons and sheltered reefs in the pacific now, if you look closely at the boys and the girls, you can see a thing called sexual dimorphism. Now, a lot of people here are probably going to be thinking, what the heck does that mean? Well, it means that the boys look different from the girls and vice versa. In Futuato clownfish, the girls have a large dark spot on their lateral sides, whilst the boys don't but they only develop this when they reach maturity after a few months. Also, clownfish go through a thing called sequential protangy hermaphroditism. Again. This means that when the clownfish are born, they are all boys, but then as they mature, they go into a dormant phase where their hormones go from testosterone to estrogen and they turn into girls. Also, this might come as a surprise to you, but we've actually had a tomato clownfish before called Flame. Now, unlike their reputation, Flame is a very skittish fish and lived for several months in the downstairs tank which we just drained today some really cool footage of her and her tank mates but that's for a different video. Also we've had a few Ocellaris or common clownfish as well. This pair were called Picasso and Leonardo, two famous painters named after these clownfish. Also tomato clownfish are fierce protectors of their eggs and will stop at nothing to protect them. If you enjoyed this video it was a very fun one to make and sorry my hair's looking a bit wet because I've just had a shower. But um, I hope you enjoyed this one and hopefully that tomato clownfish will be doing really well in that tank. And obviously we will be moving it in the future. Um, but you know, I hope you like it and we'll see you soon.